And yeah, we have all these fancy colors. Green and blue and with the feather and blue long ones, white ones from Spain and blue tight ones I love them, the orange ones and pink long ones all wrinkled, I need a bigger belt guys, it's Friday, I'm fixing up my hallway and I'm gonna give you some interior tips I've already done here, so let's do like this I'm gonna paint this black today I moved this mirror, you see there, got myself a new drill. And hung up this yesterday. I got a new for my shoes. I'm gonna show it to you when this was standing there. I'm gonna have a big mirror behind there. So my oh, where am I? I'm looking for my White surgical gloves. Have to buy new ones, I think. That was one. Hold it. I have to remember some I'm at the pharmacies to buy some. Please allow me to. Okay. That's one. They're in different material. I like that one better. It makes a snap. Okay, so I'm going to paint this black. I've taken the wooden ugly things off and I'm going to show you how practical I am actually. You've seen me make some IKEA shelves together before, so I'm going to show you a tip how to paint this without uh, painting the, the inside. That's not straight, but then uh, it doesn't matter that much. I'm going to tape it. And uh, I'm not going to film all this, right? And you get your money back when you return it in, within a month if it's not spoiled. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'll put that tape on and on the inside of those closets so they won't get paint on them when I start painting. I'm gonna have to cut that off. Taking this off. Side. Now I had such a bad hair there, I had to solve it in some way. So, so I don't look so bad hair day. Okay, well, the one door is done. And I want this shabby chic look, it's called. It's you know, it's not supposed to be perfect, but I'm not spoiled and all. Uh, worn out so we're just gonna do you see I don't want to spill paint on that one and they're of course gonna throw them away after this quite handy <laughs> actually get used to doing things by yourself and stroke I'm gonna do the down part later on so I don't have to look like it's some I'll put to and make it perfect. Well actually that's what people pay a lot of money for things that are not old. They're called nostalgia. Have to change this because this one's full of paint. So Now 
now we're doing that closet and I'm gonna make it shabby chic that means I don't want it perfect but you have to get the stains don't let it it slip the paint or it won't look nice if you get these stains things and change the doorknobs and it looks completely different so is getting to stand up, put some heating on so because it's, it's quite cold here but I don't think it's good I put the heating on or I may get this mark stains. My first door was much better. Okay, I painted the whole wall closet now and if you're looking for that shabby chic effect I recommend you to drag the pencil all the way so you get some of the lighter parts out then it looks like it's a little bit worn out and I'm doing here the same on the side here I have a thick pencil and I drag it all the way down and then you get these stripes in it to make it look like it's real wood and nothing Something ugly and cheap from IKEA. Oops. Don't want that painting up there. First coating. I think it's gonna dry overnight. Now it's slipped a little bit here, so I have to drag it out so we don't get this uh, I don't know what you call this kind of paint in in English, but so we don't get these sloppy drops. And uh, yeah, drag it along when it's drying a little bit. And this one is already dried. So try. Closet. Marilyn's gotten up on the wall. <laughs> 